but it's after dinner, and this man wants dessert. A three ingredient no churn mason jar ice cream that's ready in five minutes and is keto? Perfect. This is Dennis, the man determined to help defeat diabetes through delicious food. And he's about to find out just how hard keto ice cream actually is. For mason jar ice cream, he requires a mason jar. To this, he begins by adding half a cup of erythritol, followed by a cup of heavy cream from a cow. Avoid cream from other sources. Then a few splashes of vanilla extract, simply done by feel. He caps the jar and, well, cleans, because ants. Afterwards, it's time to mix the ingredients. However, all the shaking has left him rather sweaty. The cardiovascular movements have left him in a search of a pulse, of which he finds none. He might be dead after all. With a good kiss for good luck, off to the icebox he goes. But, like most people, his freezer is... full. Hmm. Tennis plays a quick game of Tetris and finds a spot for the jar amidst the fish and cauliflower. Then, he sets a timer for five minutes. When time expires, it's time to taste. However, upon the tensile insertion, he finds out that the ice cream is a lie. Unsurprised, yet slightly disappointed, he recaps and returns it to the freezer for an extended duration. After a much longer dead nap at the fishes, the ice cream that seemed too good to be true is again under scrutiny. However, it is as hard as a rock. Potentially harder. No matter his attempts with the spoon or the use of mitochlorians, it simply is frozen solid, like his heart. And so, he must resort to other measures. His last resort is time. It's been sitting on the counter for a while and it's actually still really hard. It's not scoopable at all. It's really icy, the erythritol did it dissolve. Super hard, not creamy. And it really just kind of tastes like frozen whipped cream. Which makes me wonder, what does store-bought, low-carbon, keto-friendly ice cream actually taste like? Time to find out. Inside the black bag are the items that will propel his ice cream research to the next level. And so, with the golden tasting spoon, he begins. Feel good for... Feel good fact. Gorillas hum when they eat their favorite food. Very hard, kind of chalky. Bad. Eh. Kind of icy. Eh. Not bad flavor. Not very smooth. Very chalky. Eh. Doesn't feel like ice cream. It has this really weird consistency. Like the flavor is pretty good, but it's hard to explain. It's almost like a waxy feeling when you first put it in your mouth. That's so weird. Now, I know I probably should have used Vanilla Across all the different brands to have consistency. to have consistency in testing, but I couldn't find vanilla in all the different brands. And honestly, I wanted to try the different flavors to have a good gamut of tests. Unfortunately, none of them really hit the mark in terms of ice cream. They might suffice, but they're not gonna be low carbon keto ice cream that you couldn't tell apart from regular ice cream. I think we could do better. Fortunately, How may I be of assistance? And this is Mr. D, the man determined to beat Dennis Sat every step of the way. I, uh, I need a favor. You can expect the delivery soon. Thank you.
And so, with the ring of the bell, the package has arrived. Unfortunately, to progress, one must sometimes regress. At first, he struggles to remove the poorly fashioned key to safety lock, but soon enough, like a bear in a trash can, he succeeds. Smooth, creamy, no ice crystals, soft out of the freezer, fantastic flavor. Two more. Two more, for which the safety lock removal skills are improving. At a loss for words, he moves on to the next, humming as gorillas do. One last delectable bite, and he begins pondering the ingredients and the work that goes into making these amazing treats. Milk, cream, fudge, powdered sugar, cocoa, carrot, bean gum, guar gum. Cream, liquid, sugar, water, milk, cocoa, honey, guar gum, Cream, milk, sugar, liquid sugar, there is locust bean gum. Little corn fiber, erythritol, allulose, terra gum, guar gum, cream, water, egg yolks, coconut oil, salt, erythritol, peanut butter, taste enzyme, Peruvian carrot gum, guar gum, salt, monk fruit. So there are some similarities, and I think we can use that to come up with a recipe. His canvas is cleared, and he brings in his mason jar, except not. First, he starts with a larger container. Yeah, it's a quarter cup of allulose, a quarter cup of erythritol, one cup of heavy cream, one large squirt of vanilla juice, and an eighth of a teaspoon of guar gum, sprinkled over top. Then, it's time for the whippinator. This consistency is still too liquid. However, this consistency is perfect. He doesn't want thick whipped cream, but rather something that resembles a milkshake. Now it's time to convert it into the mason jar ice cream experiment. He stamps it out to even the top, covers, and of course to the freezer box it goes. Once again we arrive at the time to taste test. The jar is removed from the freezer and immediately opened. Then using the same golden tasting spoon, he scoops. The ice cream is directly scoopable from the freezer, a very welcome improvement, results of varying degree of allulose. And then, the taste test. Super creamy, smooth out of the freezer, but the erythritol didn't dissolve. So, although this is a step in the right direction, it's not gonna fulfill that real ice cream desire that we want. Better than a five minute ice cream. So now I think we need to figure out how to make real ice cream. So. And so the journey begins. And until next time, here you do well. And if you want any personal guidance on a recipe or something related to low carb or keto food, check me out on SIP. I'll leave the link down below.